gang, it's Jeremy. Uh, a <laughs> quick tip on the run. I was actually getting ready to do the vlog and forgot that I have an appointment today with my therapist. Um, and that, that brings in a, a really cool life point that I think a lot of people stray away from talking about is that, you know, it's good to take care of your mind. And, and if you're having anxiety or anything with your mind, it's not, you know, it's so taboo and faux pas in our society um, because, it, you know, it means you're crazy or back in the day, way back in like witch trials and stuff, they thought you were possessed. Um, now we know, you know, the brain is, is like a muscle. And so it's like, to me, get like making fun of somebody or having an opinion about someone who's taking care of their mind and going and talking to someone. It's like making fun of someone who pulls a hamstring. It's, it's not a lot different. Obviously the ramifications of mental illness um, are great as we see with all the violence in our country. But it's time that we lift the stigma and I think this is happening. I've been going to therapy, not ev all the time, but I started therapy when I was eight years old. I had a really rough childhood, so you know it, was, it would help me decompress and, and not live in shame and all this stuff. And I've gone intermittently ever since, and I can tell you that it's like a spa day for your for your emotions or for your brain, especially when you find someone who understands you and will call you on your shit. Because there's nothing more important in life than having a voice louder than your own. Um, I'm gonna say that again, and that's why the idea of God works so well. Whether you believe in God or not, um, the neuroscience is in, like it's good for your brain to believe in a benevolent, loving creator because it helps you deal with your monkey mind, you know, the craziness that goes on in your mind. So anyways, this is a quick tip. I promise you creative stuff is coming. This is just the beginning as I plant the seeds for what this is gonna feel like. And not only is it gonna be um, music related, I do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do color correction tutorials. I've been using DaVinci Resolve for 10 years or you know, going on eight years. I've been coloring for 12. Uh, I'm a director, a writer, um, I use Cinema 4D, 3D animations, 2D animations, After Effects, you name it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it all. It's gonna be a creative help, but a lot of it's gonna be like this, where I'm letting you in on where I'm at, and um, you know, I'm on my way to my therapist right now, and here's the funny thing, I forgot I had the appointment, she texts me, and uh, there's another tip that I need to do, is scheduling we'll get to that but uh anyways i hope everybody's doing well i promise you i might if i get a hair of my ass i i can maybe do a tutorial later tonight i've got some work on the docket but um love peace and unity growth love y'all what's up fam um i just got out of my therapy session and I have to add this to the vlog I recorded before. So it's like a little before and after. Interesting, I didn't plan this, but she, she said something so profound. I talked to her for 40 minutes, just about life, man, about everything I'm going through. And, you know, I'm dealing with all kinds of personal stuff. And, you know, self self realization is, is hard work. But anyways, at the end, you know, we're talking about, and this relates to business and creativity, you know, you can't, you know, when you think of it, like, what do you want from people, really, ultimately? You want respect, right? You want validation would be another word in, in some ways, right? And so, um, but, and it seems so simple, and it's going to sound like a fortune cookie or something, but you really have to process it. It's that um, you have to have that for yourself first, really. You have to respect your craft and your time and you know you have to value yourself and when you do you don't even have to tell people to respect you they just will because you respect yourself and i know that that sounds simple i know that it sounds like yeah of course that's the case but i know for me i'm in a lot of situations where i'm like man why is this person disrespecting me or like you know, why is this person not respecting my talents and respecting my experience? And, it, you know, it could be clients, it could be whatever. But the reality is, is it's because 
you truly don't value your craft and your time deep down though you know you're telling yourself some other story and that's a story that's maybe your whole life you know you have worth issues because you know abuse in the home whatever happened to you or whatever you've been through heartbreak divorce death you know you you build up these narratives in your head and that's actually where you're coming from when you deal with people not from a place of respect for yourself and respect for your time and respect for your craft it blew my mind man it it, it really kind of sums up where I'm at right now and it's all about me really recognizing my own power and my own majesty and being able to really respect myself and my time and that goes for when people are gouging you with money and being unprofessional or expecting things of you that were never part of the original agreement <sighs> I mean come on man you know like respect yourself enough to confront that when you see it